you can see, we're approaching some trees. Hi, Adam. Just getting into nature. Oh, no. <laughs> what? What do we have here? Looks to me is polluting. Let's go ask him a few questions. Excuse me, sir. Uh, just want to know what you're doing out here. It looks like. You're picking up trash? Uh, that's fine. Uh -huh. I mean, how did that trash get there? I don't know. Are you helping the local community around you? What the hell are you, Captain Planet? What, what, is, this, what is this for? I mean, I'm just uh, trying to create environmental awareness. I better not see this on YouTube. Sue. Why don't you take your camera and just get out of here, okay? You know what? I was dumping it. You know what? I don't care. Okay? Turn the camera off. Turn it off. I think uh, he's getting a bit irate. Turn the camera off. <laughs> Seems like people are... After a busy work week, I walk up to the park near my house, approaching the edge of a wooded area where the trail begins. I find places in my community to escape to, to get away. I want to feel a sense of freedom in nature, where it's just me and the quiet. I try to get away to these places to feel uninterrupted by society, traffic, stress, but I'm constantly bombarded by an energy of social laziness around me. These parks and recreation areas have become polluted with empty Gatorade bottles, deflated basketballs, and styrofoam containers littered all across the landscape. This garbage makes me feel guilty because I know I don't recycle. I know I've also contributed to this problem. And to my disappointment, filth has invaded places I once saw as peaceful and serene. Luckily, my friends had a solution. I am the chief operating officer of the Department of the Serious one. Eric Eaton and Matt Fields are two of the founding members of an organization called the Green Monkey. It's a small, non-for-profit, environmental education-based group interested in creating environmental awareness in their local community. On a normal Saturday, you or I might be lazy on the couch, but oftentimes you'll find this industrious band of monkeys performing the important but often grossly overlooked task of picking up trash. Since their accreditation in 2005, the Green Monkeys have continued to provide an innovative and environmentally conscious outlet where people can not only make a difference in their community, but actually lead and contribute to events and nonprofit programs. To capture this plan in action, I contacted Eric, who invited me to attend my first Green Monkeys event. Today the Green Monkeys are here at the 1839 Roswell Mill. We're out here picking up some trash. What I expected to find was a few discarded items like Pepsi cans and plastic bags. In reality, I found something much more disturbing. Okay, so I just discovered the elastic band to someone's boxer briefs, perhaps. Um, and then uh, they just discarded them in the environment after they were done doing what they were doing. What were they doing? You know? One can only speculate. We have found a collection of trash that just kind of built up in this rock. The sheer volume and variation of garbage was astounding. 
I was bombarded by items I had long forgotten. And like an average person, I throw away cartons, bottles, clothes, and just about everything else. On this day, however, I learned the incredible persistence of everything I had taken for granted. Items I had seen in my own trash can reared their ugly head and ensured that from now on, I would see my garbage in a different light. But the worst part is that almost everything that we find in the river is recycled. Yeah, but we don't find a lot of trash in there. We find a lot of recyclable trash in there. We find plastic, beer bottles, wine bottles, Coke bottles, it's all recyclable. And that's what's really sad. Fortunately, my guilt was mitigated by newfound empowerment. I can't remember a time when I felt more useful and connected. I was impassioned by the love this group showed for their local environment. It's been five years coming, and we finally pulled it off. Our most successful river cleanup yet. Very excited about the future of Green Monkeys. To them, cleaning up was not just about picking up litter but was a way to interact with nature on a personal level. So, when you go out to a location and you get done cleaning up, how do you feel? Connected to that location, connected to that spot. Just, just glad that I'm able to like, do what I do. You know? Through this event, I was able to be a part of a group of individuals who all had something to share. When I got back home at the end of the day, I was left with a new and rewarding appreciation knowing that I had made a difference, a real difference that I could see, appreciate, and enjoy. Who would have thought that picking up trash could be fun? At first mention, cleaning up litter does not sound appealing to the average person. The Green Monkey has taught me that in the right atmosphere, even the most theoretically distasteful idea can be exciting and innovative. An idea does not have to be grandiose to be valuable. The Green Monkeys teach individuals that it's not what you can't do, it's what you can do. Each person can make a difference today without anything but the right motivation and a smile. I mean, the corporation can die tomorrow and still be doing what they're doing. That's the cool thing about it.